ASA Firewalls Failover Configuration. We are going to use GNS3 and the very simple topology that you can see on the screen. I think the only difference is not E03 but it's E02 for my failover link. We are going to set up a standby, active standby topology. That's, my, that's the GNS3 topology. You can see two ASAs. This is our this is our LAN 192.168.1.0. Both firewalls. This is dot one dot two. Outside world, the internet, the outside world, it is one dot one dot one dot zero slash twenty four. This one is my management PC. I am going to use that PC to connect to ASAs and manage them using ASDM. I am connected to the first firewall, which is going to be my primary firewall. As you can see, it's 1111192.168.1.1. ASAs have a really nice wizard that will help you set up failover. And it actually works pretty well. The first question is, do you want to go for active active or active standby? Well, we said we would go for active standby. Let's do it then. Now, a screen that I showed you in the previous video, our ASA is going to test and make sure that our mate is compatible with us. I will give it dot two, and now it will connect here and take a look. It will go down the list and verify everything. Now a failover link. And take a look, there is even a short definition. A failover link is an interface for communication between these two devices. We are going to use G02. If we go back to the topology. Uh, hmm. There is no link O2. That's strange. Right. Let me fix it then. In Genesis 3 you have to shut down your firewalls. Take a look. I can't connect it like that. It will complain. Let me save the configuration, shut it down and reboot it for you. I am back. Our fail failover link. That is... E02, ASDM, let's go for this wizard again, okay, cool, now it's better, we have our G2, it's just a name, let's call it failover. We have to specify an IP address, that is a dedicated IP address for this failover link. I will use 222, 1222. As you can see, you can encrypt everything that goes between these two devices as well. Click next. Here it is a decision to be made between stateful and stateless failover. Do you remember our discussion? We'll go for just stateless for now. It's just a simple lab. If you want, you can designate an interface or you can use the same link that we specified. Now, that is our active IP address. What is the standby IP address? I said I would use dot two. Let's keep it. One dot one dot one dot two. And yes, I want to check this interface, make sure it's okay. Finish. It is a good idea to copy that. Make sure you have all commands that your ASA is going to deliver. Send. 
What is good about ASDM, it is going to deliver all commands to both boxes. In a few seconds, you will see a message saying that, well, I am almost done. Do you want me to deliver all commands to your second firewall? Take a look. It is a good idea to wait. If you're sure it's okay, you can stop that. I was patient and waited. Here is a list of commands that my ASA is going to deliver. Let's click on send. Here a message saying, well, make sure that you wait a few minutes and allow these firewalls to recognize what they have, synchronize everything, and then you can click click refresh. What I am going to do, I am going to reconnect. This is a simple lab. It means in most cases it should be absolutely fine. It's here. Please note the, the icon here specifying that we are on an active box. Let's go to the CLI. Type show failover. You will probably see that everything is up and running. Yes. Failover is on. You need primary. That's fine. Interfaces are up. That's good. Looks good. Go to router 1. Make sure can, we can still ping the internet, which is 1.1.1.3. Make sure it's stable. Looks good. Thank you very much.